at any time without any restrictions it is the genuine cry of the devotee to be engaged in the lord's devotional service devotees also sing joyful bhajans glorifying the lord's transcendental names qualities and pastimes this purifies the consciousness and pleases the lord In Sanskrit, go refers to cow, druma refers to tree, because Mother Surabhi cow did tapasya underneath a tree here. This place got the name Godruma Dvipa. Godruma Dvipa is non-different from Nandagram, where Krishna grew up in Vrajalila. According to Navadvipa Dhamma Mahatmya, this place represents. kirtanam aspect of nine devotional process mentioned in shrimad bhagavatam lord chaitanya mahaprabhu says trunadapi sunichena taroriva sahishnuna amanina manadeya kirtaniya sada hari we all should be humbler than grass tolerant than the tree and offer all respects to others not expect any honor for the self in this mood we must engage in the sankirtan of lord shri krishna this is the principle that godruma dvipa drives home today we will visit all the gauranga pastime places in godruma dvipa and purify our hearts trinadapi suni chena तरोरपीसहिष्णुना अमानिना मानदेना कीर्तनीय सदा हरि सुरभींद्र तपम परितुष्ठमनम वर वर्ण धरम हरिर आविर्भूतम तम जस्र सुखम मुनि धैर्य हरम भज गोद्रुम कानन कुंज विदुम दिस इज द सेम सीक्रेट प्लेस वेयर मदर सुरभि काव विथ लॉर्ड इंद्र द किंग ऑफ हेवन परफॉर्म्ड तपस्या ऑस्टरिटीज बीइंग प्लीज्ड विद देयर ऑस्टरिटीज लॉर्ड हरि इन हिज मोस्ट ब्यूटीफुल फॉर्म 
as Gauranga, the golden incarnation, gave darshan and blessed both of them. This place is called Surabhi Kunj. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram. With small power and position, we see people developing pride in this world. Then what to speak of Indra, the king of heaven, who controls many aspects of this universe. Once in Krishna Leela, during Dwapar Yoga, King Indra committed great offense at the lotus feet of Lord Krishna by disturbing the residents of Vrindavana and attacking them by sending heavy rain for seven days and nights, which made Krishna lift Govardhana hill. When Indra realized his mistake, he came to Lord Krishna, begged for forgiveness. He offered his prayers, Sattvam Mamaishwarya Madaplutasya Kritagasite Avidusha Prabhavam Shantum Prabho Atharhasi Muda Chetaha. Lord Indra said, My dear Prabhu, Lord Krishna, please forgive me. I committed great offense at your lotus feet due to great pride over my ruling power. I could not understand your true identity. Lord Krishna, with great compassion and mercy, forgave Indra. Even though Krishna forgave Indra, Lord Indra was still frightened and he was worried. He came to Surabhi Kao, who is an eternal associate of Lord Krishna in the spiritual world, and spoke to her. He said, My dear Surabhi Mata, I could not recognize and understand my Lord Krishna in Dwapar Yuga. I have heard my Lord will appear in Kali Yuga in hidden form. And I'm worried that I may again mistake him and commit offenses at his lotus feet. What do I do? Mother Surabhi Kao brought Indra to Godruma Dvipa in Navadvipa Mandala and told Indra that let us engage in the Kirtan of Lord Krishna. In this way, in doing the simple process of devotional service called Kirtanam, we will be able to receive the mercy of Krishna and you will not again commit any offenses. Mother Surabhi and Indra engaged in tapasya in this place called Surabhi Kunja, Surabhindra Tapaha Paritushtha Manaha. And Lord Hari, being pleased with their tapasya, revealed the most magnificent form called Gauranga Mahaprabhu to both of them. He was effulgent, mercifully smiling at them, told, My dear Indra, my dear Surabhi, I am happy with both of your tapasya and do not fear. I understand your concern. I bless you so that you will not commit offenses in this incarnation of mine. Krishna in Gauranga form is extremely merciful. In this way, he showered mercy upon Indra in this place called Surabhi Kunj. Here we can see a small beautiful temple of Mother Surabhi 
staying eternally in this place engaged in gauranga kirtana let us offer our prayers at this place krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare Puranas describe Markandeya Rishi received a boon from Lord Shiva to live for seven long kalpas because of this boon during the annihilation time Markandeya Rishi was floating in the water of pralaya he could not find any shelter because the entire earth was filled with pralaya water he was lamenting Alas what kind of a boon i received because of which i am put into great trouble while lamenting like this he was floating and reached this place and he was astonished to find this place was unaffected it is because this is the spiritual land navadvipa dham which never gets affected during the annihilation time When Markandeya Rishi reached Godruma Dwipa and found his shelter he saw Mother Surabhi in this place he was actually suffering he was greatly feeling hungry he prayed to Mother Surabhi hey Bhagavati Surabhi my dear mother you are an associate of supreme lord kindly show mercy upon me please give me some milk Surabhi seeing the situation of markandeya rishi with great compassion blessed him with her milk after drinking the surabhi cow's milk markandeya rishi prayed to surabhi cow and said my dear surabhi without understanding properly i asked for a boon which has put me into this great trouble i'm going through great suffering please help me how do i help myself mother surabhi She told Markandeya Rishi, "My dear Markandeya, please stay in this place of Godruma Dwipa, engage in Nama Kirtana, chant the names of Lord Krishna, especially Gauranga's name, who is the most merciful incarnation of Lord Shri Krishna. And when you do this, Lord Krishna as Gauranga will relieve you from all the miseries that you are going through." Markandeya Rishi stayed here in this place of Godruma Dwipa engaged in Nama Kirtana and received the darshan of Gauranga Mahaprabhu and got rid of all his sufferings and troubles Inspired by the great personalities like Indra Markandeya and Surabhi Nityananda Prabhu stayed 3 months at Surabhi Kunj to relish the beauty of the place which is non different from surabhi vana in braj surabhi kunj became lord nityananda's nam hata headquarters from where he spread the glories of the holy names later shrila bhakti vinod thakur a great gaudiya vaishnava acharya made this his home for 9 years and wrote his book jaiva dharma while he lived here let us offer our prayers to all these great personalities so that we may also develop attraction to nama sankirtana of lord shri krishna lord gauranga Ali
This serene place in Godruma Dvipa is called Swananda Sukhada Kunja. Realizing this place non-different from original Swananda Sukhada Kunja, which is personal garden of Sri Lalita Sakhi, an intimate associate of Radha Krishna in Vrindavan, Sri La Bhakti Vinod Thakur established his bhajan kutir here. and engaged in worshiping of his beloved lordships shri gaura gadadhara shri la bhakti vinod thakur invites all of us to join him in singing the glories of gaura gadadhara smara gaura gadadhara keli kala bhava gaura gadadhara paksha chara shrunu gaura gadadhara charukata bhaja godruma kanana kunja vidhum My dear devotees remember the past times of Gaura Gadadhara become servant of Gaura Gadadhara and listen to the heart melting past times of Gaura Gadadhara in this way engage in worshiping of Gauranga who is the rising moon of Gaudruma Dvipa Shila Bhakti Vinod Thakur staying in this bhajan kutir performed many wonderful devotional activities he had the vision of panchatatvas dancing in great ecstasy singing the holy names of lord shri krishna when he saw the antardvipa from his balcony that made him discover yoga pita with the help of his spiritual master shila jagannath das baba ji maharaj after which he wrote navadvipa dhama mahatmya that revealed the glories of entire navadvipa dham with various places as told by shri la nityananda prabhu to jiva goswami shri la bhakti vinod thakur also had the spiritual vision of a spiritual city in antardvip mayapur he said there will be a day where vaishnavas from across the globe from countries like russia america european countries they'll all come here sing the gauranga's name play mridanga play kartal and together forgetting the differences glorify lord shri krishna and he also predicted a vaishnava will soon appear and spread the shri krishna nama sankirtana across the globe ac bhakti vedanta swami prabhupad founder acharya of iskon and hari krishna movement very soon fulfilled this prophecy of bhakti vinod thakur he practically inundated the whole world with hari krishna mantra established lord chaitanya mahaprabhu and radha krishna worship across the globe and converted hundreds and thousands of people into vaishnavas these wonderful pastimes took place in swananda sukhada kunja of kodurma dvipa let us pray to shila bhakti vinod thakur for the devotion to the lotus feet of gaura gadadhara who are non different from shri shri radha krishna shila bhakti vinod thakur stayed in this room and authored many literatures The personal belongings of Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur can be found in this room. It is said that Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur had the divine vision of a spiritual city from this balcony. Nadiya Nadiya nagare nitai neche neche gaye re Bhakti Vinod tar pade rang paaye re
Nama Sankirtana, devotional service to Lord Shri Krishna, is always performed joyfully. Susukham Kartum Avyayam, devotees of Lord Gauranga experienced this principle at this place of Godruma Dvipa called Ambra Ghat. Srila Prabhupada describes the pastimes in Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita like this. Once, Lord Gauranga, after performing tumultuous Sankirtana with his devotees, came to this place called Amra Ghat. He sowed a mango seed, which immediately grew into a mango tree full of juicy mango fruits. Devotees picked around 200 fruits, washed them, offered to Lord Shri Krishna. These mangoes were extraordinary mangoes, without seed and skin, but full of nectarian juice. Eating one mango would fully satisfy a man. Every day after performing Sankirtana, Lord Gauranga would bring his devotees and offer them the sweet juicy mangoes and devotees would enjoy singing the Lord's name and eating the mangoes here. In this way, there was a joyful performance of Sankirtana in Amragat. Bhakti is something like mango, which in the beginning, sour in the taste, later matures into a nectarian sweet juice. Srila Rupa Goswami says, one must practice bhakti, continue the process with patience and determination. Utsaha dhairiya nishchaya tattat karma pravartana. And then we will see our bhakti maturing into a nectarian experience. Let us pray to Gauranga Mahaprabhu in this place of Godruma Dvipa that we get sufficient patience and determination to continue our Nama Sankirtana, our devotional service to Lord Shri Krishna, so that one day we also experience the nectarian taste of chanting the holy names of the Lord. In his advent as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Lord Krishna did not disclose his identity as the Supreme Lord. It was his purpose to teach people how to be an ideal devotee of the Lord. Yet, sometimes he would allow his true qualities to manifest in order to please his devotees who had made his mission the purpose of their lives. With such loving reciprocal pastimes, the Lord would fill the devotees' hearts with transcendental ecstasy.
महाजन पाति अच्छे नाम हट्ट जी बेरा कराणा बोलो कृष्ण भजो कृष्ण कोरो कृष्ण शिक्षा बोलो कृष्ण भजो कृष्ण कोरो कृष्ण शिक्षा बोलो कृष्ण भजो कृष्ण कोरो कृष्ण शिक्षा नदिया कृष्ण धन प्राण कृष्ण माता कृष्ण पिता कृष्ण धन प्राण कृष्ण माता कृष्ण पिता कृष्ण धन प्राण कृष्ण माता कृष्ण पिता कृष्ण धन प्राण नदिया नदिया गोद्र में नित्यानंद महाजन पति अच्छे नाम हट्ट जी बेरा कराणा संसार कोरो छाड़िया नाचार कृष्णेरा संसार कोरो छाड़िया नाचार कृष्णेरा संसार कोरो छाड़िया नाचार कृष्णेरा संसार कोरो छाड़िया नाचार जीवे दोया कृष्ण नाम सर्व धर्म सार कृष्ण नाम सर्व धर्म सार जीव दोया कृष्ण नाम सर्व धर्म सार नदिया नदिया गोद्र में नित्यानंद महाजन पाति अच्छे नाम हट्ट जी बेरा कराणा
कृष्ण हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे जय नित्यानंद राम 